Hello guys, this is Panchoto21 and today I'm gonna be playing manager mode and I'm actually gonna make a series about this. I will be playing manager mode all the time. Now I left my head to head record and now I'm playing manager mode and I'm addicted. So I played a full season with Barnett and uh, at the end of the season I sort of ignored the uh, contracts and because uh, I thought I was gonna have a they're gonna be renewed automatically but it turned out that that did not happen and uh, I lost my squad I lost half of my squad and now I'm really upset I was devastated when I started my new season and I and I noticed that you know I had to buy players and I had a uh, like a million dollars, million uh, pounds, I believe, because I have my currency in pounds, uh, euros. Uh, sorry. Well, I got the uh, I bought from the EA store catalog this thing that it would give me a bit more money on my manager mode, a career, so that I can buy more players because I really needed that and. Well, I took advantage of that, and I needed to get my squad up and going. I need I needed those players back, and well, I couldn't get my old players back because they were pretty angry at me. Yes, angry. They were angry at me because I ignored them. So I decided to go for some Mexican players. You see Antonio Garcia right there. They're all real good players. Uh, Mexico's been doing really good with all their youth lately, and uh, well, you know. I just had to take advantage of that. Not only Mexican players. You can see Sebastián Coates is there. And, uh, well, you can see these are my transfer moves. Right there, you see Saúl Villalobos. He's a really pacey, tall uh, midfielder. Uh, and he's really, really fast. And not only that, he's got technique with the ball. And uh, last season, I played with uh, three uh, lone players. And that was Omar Salgado, Carlos Fierro, and uh, center back uh, Antonio Briseño. They did pretty good for me, and especially Carlos Fierro and Omar Salgado. They scored a lot of goals for me. And, uh, well, I grew a lot. My players grew a lot. And, uh, well, that's why I was really dis disappointed when I lost my players. And as you can see right there, Joe Matok, I, uh, I make a bid for him. This is not Ultimate Team, I know, but... I asked for him and I offer him one thousand one million eight eight thousand eight eight hundred thousand <laughs> I'm sorry about that. English is not my first language. Um and uh also I go for Emilio Orantia. He's a really, really good um midfielder as well. He he can take on players and uh well I really need that kind of player in my team because I lost most of my midfield and uh and also I bought Enriquez is a real tall um, and he's got lots of technique with the ball so that's what I need you know I need a change in squad and uh, Salvia Lobos actually takes my offer in that one I believe we'll see and uh, well I'm also gonna gonna go for a scouter he's gonna go to uh, Mexico because you know Mexico's been doing really good with the youth and uh, I really really ne need to take advantage of that I'm also trying to get um, that Pachuca player uh, Hector Herrera he's really good he's a real real top class player and uh, I really need him in my club he he will change the style I play literally he will completely uh, make my team win the uh, well Barnet win the Empire League one. As I said previously, I played the the uh, Empire League two the full season, and I, I I struggled. I and I and I was playing in world class. I gotta say, uh, legendary is pretty hard for me. I can play and I can win, but sometimes you know you lose your concentration and you can lose a lot of games. So that's why I'm going for a um, really uh, now going for a, I mean <laughs> a world class. So uh, that said, with that said, I will buy players, guys, 
And yeah, I am not interested in seeing the player potential because I kind of don't want to know what's going to happen. You know, I kind of want things to see, you know, things that go randomly. I really don't want to uh, know something. I don't want to know about a star player and I just don't want things spoiled for me. What I want is to have fun and see the unpredictability of the game see how it goes and because uh, I'm planning to play several seasons until I get to uh, the Premiership and then from there keep growing and uh, we'll pretty much see how far I can get and there you see Fueler that was a star player for last season and um, I keep simulating simulating waiting and Emilio Rantia accepts my uh, contract offer and I am so happy right there because he's a player I'm gonna need the whole season and when I say the whole season I'm really gonna need him but I still look at look at my squad I have very little players and I really really need you know I have a solid goalkeeper if you can see Kyler he's a really good keeper he played real good last season and uh I was I was you know flattered by the way he he blocked so many goals he helped me out a lot and I think he's part of the reason why I won the uh, the cub I was close not to winning it but uh, still I won and uh, well I was it, it it was actually a real close I won the league by one point that's how you know how much I struggled but uh, and then I got the promotion which is what I needed and uh, and well I'm glad now and I'm motivated for a new season as you can see Joe Matok he's a player he's a complete fullback for me well, from what I see he's a complete fullback and I will tell you guys this guy uh, Yildon Yes, he's a black player and he's really good. He grew a lot. He was like a 50 when I started with him, or a 53, and uh, he grew a lot. And, well, I accidentally sold him. Yeah. I was like, you know, I was going to make a counter off offer since they never work. You know, I always, get, I always get rejected when I make a counter offer. And, well, this time it worked. And, you know, sadly I couldn't do anything about it. And, you know, I lost one of my star players. And Liam O'Brien, I cannot tell. He's a real good keeper, top class. I really cannot sell Liam O'Brien. He is top class, and it's great to have him there as a substitute. He's uh, he's going to help me out a lot in this season because uh, I only got Kyler. He's a young, young keeper. And there I make another final bid for Hector Herrera and see what happens there you can see I get offers for yield them a lot and till I sell them accidentally and uh, well I didn't buy all the players here um, and look at that another offer uh, yield them oh not right there uh, well I get another player you see my current squad and who did I get Oh look, there I make a scouter. I, I go for the scout. As you can see, I'm not sure about it. So I go on my computer, make some research. I go for the counter offer and yield them. And, uh, you know, sadly, they agreed to it and, and yield them. It was up to yield them now, up to the player. And, well, he went for the money. Right there, I decide to send my scout to Mexico and uh, Danny Holmes, another top class player for me. Great player, and I think that he will really help me out win this league and other competitions, hopefully, win the FA Cup again. I'm not expecting to go far in the Euro, uh, it's I'm going on this European competition, and as you can see. There is this glitch where I couldn't see the ball, guys. So I'll just leave you guys with the score real quick and uh, maybe show you some replays of the goals. I mean, I don't think you really need to see the goals. It's just you can't see the ball ridiculously score the goal. But that's a top-class goal by Salgado. You can see how classy he is. 
Uh, look at that. How can you defend when you can't see the ball? It, it took me a while to get used to it, but look at that. Our star player, Hector Herrera, scores the last goal for my friendly. And, uh, well, I'm glad he's actually helping out. He's a real top-class player, and I'm really, really excited to see how he turns out during the season. And, uh, well, actually, also because I'm going on this uh, European tournament. And I'm not sure why I qualified if I was in League 2. Is that even possible? And can someone comment about that to see if it's some sort of glitch? Oh, yeah, and I saw uh, Jimmy Ryan on the, uh, on the list. And I really had to go for him. He's one of my favorite players ever, Jimmy Ryan. And I had to make, you know, look at that top class I am I was so glad when I got him and uh, Danny Holmes he would not he wants to feel more important for the team so and I didn't see that till later but uh, Jeff Hughes I stopped going for him as well and uh, Tommy Rowe as well wait Tommy Rowe I bought him yeah I bought him and uh, well, he's, because uh, I need, I need some, some guys to rotate the squad. I'm not going to be playing, players get tired over the, over the season, and, uh, you know, I'm going to need way more players. I'm planning on buying some uh, 50s, guys around, uh, you know, around their 50s, probably uh, low 60s, because I need some cheap players, and, uh, you know, cheap players with skill, probably, I'll probably see if I can get some, uh, young players, because, uh, you know, they can grow, and they can help out later, probably 61, 60, 59, 58s, 57, you know, players with skill that, when they're at a 57, 55, players are good, and, uh, I realized that, from last season, I learned a lot from last season, and, uh, look at that, George Skies, they, that's my top striker from last season, he's a tall guy, and, uh, he's there, he's physically strong, so, he helps out a lot, and I played against Bristol Rovers, and I tied, nil-nil, but that's because, you know, I, I tried a different squad, but Jimmy Ryan was there, I, I, I wanted to see how he played, uh, if he was any different from FIFA um, 12, which I didn't play a lot manager mode in FIFA 12 because it was so annoying to see every team play exactly the same as the other. Even though they were in the last in the table, every team would play just like Barcelona. And that was just, uh, it was just wrong. So, you know, I just stopped playing. I didn't even finish the season with Barnett as well. I played with Barnett too, but I didn't finish the season because I thought it was just a waste of my time. I even, I even grew some players a lot, and uh, but at the end I left it. And uh, well, yeah, I tied the game nil nil. Uh, Hiran Mier, uh, Mexican. Mexican center back. He looks like he's really good. I bought him when he was a 71, I believe, and now he's a 75, if I'm not wrong. And then I seen this match, and um, well, I was really nervous. Hector Herrera scores a goal. And he's actually working out for me a lot. He's doing really good. The game is tied later, and uh, well, Enriquez misses a penalty in this score, and then he scores one. And then, again, I get an offer from uh, Liam O'Brien, but I can't sell him. He's a really good keeper. And uh, Antonio Garcia, it's... Yes, yeah, you can see right there, that's the end of my first episode. I played three matches, and, uh, well, stay tuned for more. <laughs> Bye, guys. I love you.